fighting out of a red point. Aaron White comes to the purple trim, weighing in at 148 pounds. He represents Seton Jim with a record of 11 wins and 4 losses. From Queens, New York, Joey the Bronx So Aaron, Joey Hernandez is the last New Yorker standing in this lineup. We've got Ben Pride from Canada. We've got Jason Hyde from Canada. And we've got New York that's become winless in all of these tournaments. Joey's the last, the last guy we have left. Yeah, uh, I was talking with Justin Blair earlier and he was saying that in the five years they've done this tournament, no New Yorker has ever won it. Um, so, Joey's the New York hope right now. Let's see if that shin injury from the previous match is going to bother him. Well, you, you see Jason targeting that leg, hoping that Joey's going to lift it and check it and bust that shin open. I don't see that happen. I think those are just slappy kicks. They're not that solid. They're hit with the foot. Joey's going to take them. I see more of the, the same with Hines coming on strong in the beginning. Let's see if he can last the whole round. His yeah. previous ones, he came on strong in the beginning. He started to peter out towards the end. Yeah, Joe, Joey's going to look to figure Hines out. Hines, Hines is a uh, volume fighter. Joey's going to try to find that rhythm, land those big shots. Joey's stay, doing a good job. He's staying calm. He's focused. Trying to get that distance. And you see Hines, he doesn't have a whole lot behind his shots right now, but he is scoring points. Definitely the more active fighter. But Joey, you look at the look on his face. He's laser focused in on Hines. Yeah. He's looking to land the big hit. Joey wants this. He needs to be careful he doesn't get outpointed though. And this is where Joey wants to be, in that clinch. Doesn't have to worry. Needs to smack some knees. You can see him pushing that pace. Going forward. Hines is really going to work with the leg kicks. Yeah. Hines is just pointing and outscoring. Lots of points. No real damage shots, but... A lot of points. Yeah, maybe he would have been doing more work. We don't know. Hines is fighting the smart fight right now. He's hitting, he's moving, he's staying out of the power range. Yeah, Hines is being smart right now. He looks like a rejuvenated fighter after that first fight. He's got more energy in the second. And it's amazing, 35 years old. Completely different fight. Not as wild, not as volume. Still hitting volumes, but he's also a little bit more relaxed, this fight. Absolutely. He's also fighting a guy who's fighting with one wheel right now. Yeah. He knows he can't check those kicks, and he's really working that right kick to the, to the leg. Yeah. You can see Hernandez is actually he's losing his balance a little bit. Yeah, that, that leg is hurting him. Joey needs to really be just working his boxing and his clinch right now. That yeah. leg's not doing him any favors. Really get on your boxing and get on your clinch work. And that's what he seems to be doing right now. He's, he's trying to get some good clinches. He could steal the round easily by staying working in here. Absolutely, absolutely. He should go right for it again. But right back in that clinch, boxing and clinch. Take a punch to give the clinch a knee right here. There's a good That's knee. It. This is where Joey needs to stay at, hitting those knees. Those solid knees are working really well for him. Jay Jason shrugs him off. You can see he's having trouble actually stepping. Oh, he just got yeah. chipped up with about four shots right there. 
Nothing really damaging, but he's just losing points there. Nice low kick, staying aggressive. He's kicking with that damaged leg. He doesn't care, he wants to go to the finals, clearly. Mouth wide open on Hines. All right, the final round. This is gonna decide who our final matchup will be. Here we go, the crowd's really getting behind this fight. Joey's really gotta dig deep for this one. Yeah. Jason has a great game plan. Volume fight, keep kicking that lead leg. Hernandez is staying in the fight the whole time. He's kicking with his injured leg. He's countering really well. I mean, again, this is another fight that you may see a bit of a momentum shift. Halfway through the second round, Hernandez really did start to yeah. pick up points, and he's clearly winning this round at this point. He's, he's working that clinch, he's doing great. Jason Hines, he's, he may be running out of gas again like he did in the first fight. Joey, Joey still has a chance in this round, in this fight. Nobody's you know, This is when yet. you gotta dig down. This is when you decide what kind of man you are in a fight. Oh yeah. Yeah, tur tournaments will uh, show you what kind of man you are. There's I no say, doubt about I it. I say everybody that fights, including myself, at some point you decide. I, I can coast and see what happens, I can quit, yep. or I can drive forward and win. Joey right now has to answer that question. Does he really want to win this? All indications are right now, he still wants it. Hernandez needs to just keep on those feet, keep moving, keep pressing forward. Hines is and tired. that clinch. Hines thinks he's got the first two rounds. He thinks he can get away with it. I'm not so sure about that. Yeah, those are some solid knees that Joey's landing. If Hernandez could turn. If he can make a turn here and keep working, yeah, he's got if, a good if chance. If Joey could dump him right now, that would sink this round in for him. Good body. There you go. All right, good this is going to be a really close one to call. What's yeah. going through your head while you're right, waiting? A lot of times you know you won and you know you lost. By unanimous decision and the man who will be facing, Ben Pride in the fight. From Toronto, Canada, oh. Jason Mad Hatter. Hi. So, and it looks like it's Canadian versus Canadian. So New York is shut out once again in its hometown tournament. 